now that the projector is clean, I don't mind putting this back in at all. So let's move that temperature sensor out of the way. And a power connector. I'm just going to tuck it. Actually, I'll tuck it under. It's a little tricky. Not tricky, tricky, but it takes a little finagling. I got to line those four holes up with the uh, pins while holding this camera. It's a little tough to do. And when you push these down to lock them in, don't push too far away from it because it's on the corner of the board and you could snap the board. So just push it close and then you get it right back in. Then, uh, let's see, what the needle knows. There we go. You could use needle nose to put this back on, but I can usually get it my fingers so you just get it over the pins and go down until it latches and of course cannot forget the control wire and that just plugs back in now the last step before I start closing this area up this is second I need to get that plastic shield back in let me get that wire out of the way and dress those wires a little nicer. I'm going to set this down. There's a that black notch down there that fits into. And then these guys are going to drop into their holes. Nope, not yet. So I need to put the connector in. It's going to go here. Oh, it's going to go here with the bracket. So let's get the bracket out. Let's get a screwdriver and get that screw out. Make sure you have the tabs right, otherwise the uh, connector will not fit down properly. One side's larger than the other, you'll see if you have to deal with this. Then lastly, I'm just going to tuck these guys. I'm going to tuck them down here just to get them out of the way. I got to do this with two hands. There we go. Right. Then this goes back on. Line the pins back up. Now I'll put the screws back in. Still can't find where that one screw came from. I think I'm just going to leave it out. I could take this apart further, but then I stand to possibly damage things, and that wouldn't be any good. Let's see if this tape... If this one-time tape will stick back down, yeah, it kind of does. Actually, it's not bad. All right, good. Back in, and then I'm going to put the two screws in here. And now we'll set the top back on. I have uh, another ferrite 
ring to wrap around it. So I'll grab the top and we'll get that installed on that wire and plug that one back in and then set the top on. Once the top's on, we can pop a lamp in and see how it works. There's the ferrite core. I could see by the way the wire was bent that it was wrapped around and it also keeps it from dropping out of the way. The wire was originally behind this tape. And unfortunately that tape does have enough adhesive left. It'll stick right back on. Now I have to try and finagle the top on. Minding that rubber bit. I usually kind of work that around the lens with my fingers. Once it starts, it'll move pretty easily. Uh, but I'm going to need two hands for this. Now well, that was fun. Got to get the sides to pop into place. That rubber, a little bit on the bottom, I'm going to have to get in there. There we go. And that lens feels weird. Let me make sure that's working. Okay, left to right's good. Down. Huh. It's trying, it's not working. I'm gonna pop this back off and take a look at that lens adjuster. I wonder if that had something to do with all this. Hmm. A moment. Yeah, there's something going on. There's a gear down in there that this is supposed to be moving that lifts this up and down and it's not working. So I'm going to pop the screws off and move the lens out of the way. Got to get that wire out. There we go. That comes out here. I could unplug them here, but I don't want to mix up which one's which. So, I'm going to carefully take those screws out to move the lens out of the way. There's the lens, and boy, that's dirty. I think I have some optical chem wipes to clean it. Got to get that screw out. And here's the mechanism. Let's, uh, let's see. Let me spin the projector a little so you can see it better. go. So this, let's see what's going on here. Stripped, it's probably some stripped screws feels like. This is just moving without grabbing this. So I'm going to take that out and lift this mechanism out and see how bad that's stripped. See if there's anything I can do. There's the mechanism. Looks like a bunch of the teeth in one spot are totally stripped out but since this only turns enough to grab those teeth I'm going to change this so that it's on the good teeth and then put it back in it's the uh, best option without having to find new parts oh wait a minute unless can I move that Hmm. This one's full, but this one only moves left and right. That might be better since all the weight is going to be on the up and down. I'm going to look at that. I'm going to see if I can swap these two gears and then line up the stripped one so that it can still move left and right. But this one will be the full gear, maybe. Let me see how that looks. And they are. They're the same. You can see that one got chewed up. Somebody probably pushed on the lens. I'm going to clean it up a little bit just so it looks better, but I'm going to put it on the side to side, the left and right adjuster, and just line it up with the good area, and then it'll be fine. Then the up and down, since it has more stress on it, we'll get this one. This one's in better shape aside from that one tooth. This will work out. I've taken the whole assembly out. I'm going to clean up all the running surfaces, then put it back together, and then it should be in real good shape. 